2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Uh, thank you so much, Luke. I am so happy that I have been put with these two players because they've been going back and forth at each other on social media leading up to this event. They seem to really have something to prove, a bone to pick with each other, and it'll all be settled out on the golf course today. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one right throughout this event. like that, didn't you? And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Well played, mate. Putting for birdie. by the hole. Downhill, all the way, down grain just a bit. They let it get away from him. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Sitting at one over for the day. We have a par four on this one. <laughs> Taking aim from about 180 yards here. <laughs> Going with the five iron here. Oh, that's a great approach shot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. And as John Rahm steadies himself over the ball. Six feet remaining to the cup. Little birdie look in here. Not a good line. Par putt coming up here. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Here we are at the third. And that was a bit of a misfire. Let's go to John Rahm. He's one stroke in front of his rival so far today. Great stuff. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the third. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. And it's time to recap that play. This shot was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing.
Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. We have a par five on this one. Luke, that's a stonking drive. Time for the second shot here at the four. Yeah, this is the stuff we love, getting after this par five in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. This for a birdie birdie run. Okay, steady now. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. That's a tough one to swallow. A three-putt par in the end. Trailing by four strokes. Here we are at the fifth hole of Foxhole Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Four shots behind our leader. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but... Couldn't quite get there. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Didn't that look good for a long time? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This is huge for momentum. Gotta try and hold this. This for par. And there it is. Trailing by five shots after that hole. A long bar for this hole. Lovely effort that. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Five strokes behind our leader. Looks to be going with the five iron. Needs this one to kick right. Now a little off the mark on that approach shot. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Judging it beautifully. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Henny, what's the player facing here? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Not a bad play, that one. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That's frustrating. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. They've got this to get into a tie with Ram. Oh, just missed. 
Bogey putt coming up here. Ooh. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Oh, so close. This is a triple bogey attempt here. Okay, let's head to the next. Now, eight shots back after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for birdie. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. And back to the course with the live action. A birdie putter waits. That was a gallant attempt. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, the players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you've got to find the fairway, really, to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side, and if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green, but what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. Oh, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Ouch, that hurts. Nine feet to the cup. It was on a good line. Putting for a par now. A three putt for par. That's tough going. We've reached the beginning of the back nine, the tenth. Awesome stuff. And here we are with the third shot. That's a good looking shot there. This part of about seven feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, what a stroke. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Let's go to John Rahm. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Trying to get to two under with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Ooh, right by the hole. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Next up is a par four, always a stern test. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here.
Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Just didn't drop. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Looking good. And down she goes. Sitting at a couple over for the event. The 12th hole at Fox Hong Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker. Oh, put the brakes on that one. That's got far too much speed. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A seven footer right here. That one goes down for bogey. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Birdied their last hole. Here's John Rahm. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Certainly good at making the birdies, but let's avoid those bogeys. Pretty good shot there. Sitting at three over. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Ah, oh, nicely done. Great chip. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. And stepping up the standings after that effort. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Coming off a birdie at the last, looking to add another one. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Playing from around 230 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Putting for an eagle. Ooh. Just a four footer remaining. This for back to back birdies. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Sitting at one over for the event. looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be nervous playing John Rahm, but it doesn't appear that way after this approach shot. Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently one stroke better than his rival and playing partner today. Let's take a look at the current standings. The leader now has a one stroke advantage.
And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Quality shot, that one. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. Oh, no better feeling than to finish the round off with a bunch of birdies. Let's see if they can keep up for the next couple of holes. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Okay, time to return to the action. This would be a great up and down. That was clinical. Beautifully played. And that will take him to one under. Moments like that deserve another look. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. Trailing by seven after that hole. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Definitely needs to make a move on the field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four. What will they do? Yeah, that's a great play, Rich. Not quite on the dance floor, but a mighty drive. Nearly finding the dance floor there. Luke off the tee. Great stuff. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Yep, tracking nicely. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. <laughs> Atta boy, good shot. Sitting at one under. Going with the hybrid. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. And this putt is for a final score of 70. Oh, so close. And this one is for his par. And that'll bring his tournament to a close. Well, there you have it, Henny. This player was unable to take them down before, but now they've finally done it. They've won this rivalry. Indeed they have, Luke. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. They took that saying to heart and they came out on top. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.